can models be code? That's what customers ask me. And so I'd like to take the time today to show how models can be code. And to start, I'd like to look at what does as code actually mean. And the term as code refers to the practice of managing and defining various aspects of systems through code rather than through manual processes. And that has a number of benefits. You get version control, you get automation, you get consistency because everything is executable. You can reproduce it and of course you can collaborate the same way that you can with typical software development. So what can become code? And if you look into it by now, many things have become code. There is infrastructure as code, there's policy as code, requirements as code, documentation as code, configuration as code, security as code. So as you can see, a lot of things can be code. So what about models? Can models be code? And you remember the benefits. The benefits were version control and you can put models in version control. Definitely that's being done for a long time. You can automate every workflow with models. That also works perfectly with target link. You get the consistency of version control systems. You get the reproducibility. And the remaining question mark is, can you collaborate? So let us look at what is the benchmark for the collaboration that we see with code-based workflows. And to do so, I will switch to the actual tooling. So to show this, I have prepared here a pull request, which is very simple, just one code file, and I've changed a line here. And what the tooling does, in this case, it's Azure DevOps, is of course, it shows me a div of the text file. Um, I can directly see what happens and I can also directly in the web interface without going through another checkout, edit, commit cycle, add my comments. So I can say yes, finally. And that's it. So reviews in this collaboration style also become very quick and it's very easy to actually see what your collaborators have done, apply for I principle and so on. So how does that work with models? Obviously it's harder because with models, you need to actually take a look into the binary files because they're usually saved as binary files. And we have a solution for that as well. So let me, before I show you what exactly we've done, go back here and create a new pull request. So for this pull request, I select the source branch. I have a feature branch prepared and I select to merge this into the develop branch. Uh, the name is fine and I can select my colleague Richard Review to do this request and now I set the pull request to create. What you can see now already that checks are running to start. So here's a pipeline that's configured to run mandatory checks before the pull request is even accepted. And this is what we use to actually make reviews possible. What you see here is the actual pipeline setup. I am down here and I have just pushed my development systems to the cloud, to the CICD system, and I've created the pull request. And that triggered the checks, so the check requests, and those are run on a separate agent. And this agent now runs target link, it runs model compare, it checks the code generation, and it creates a diff report, which can then be used inside this pull request. So let's look into the system and look at the pull request itself. You can see here is my new pull request. And you can see if I go to the files section that I have three changed files, a text file or an M script, a data dictionary file and a model file. And you can see that they are already in the comments 
now links to different ports of those binary files. So while I cannot directly look into the differences, and you can see that here, so the Azure DevOps system only tells me that the two versions of the file are different and I can download both of them. And then I could, of course, compare them locally with model compare. I can also just click this link, which has been created actually by this uh, pre-check step in the pull request pipeline automatically and take a look at the changes here. So I can actually see that, for example, here this absorber block has changed and I can also down below here see that the name has changed from gain one to absorber. Okay, I like this. So of course this works a lot better and I clicked the copy link button here and I can now go back to my pull request and actually paste that link, check this out. And so it's automatically linked and I can put down, I like the new name. Earth. Send. And now that's there and I can go on and approve the pull request and we can move on with development at that stage. To summarize, we have learned that as code essentially means that everything is described precisely and machine readable so that no manual steps are needed anymore. And this is driven by the use of CI and CD becoming mainstream because it allows full automation in nightly builds and even for every commit. So the key benefits of everything as code are automation, consistency, reproducibility, integration and version control and enhanced collaboration. And with the right tools, also models are code. Don't believe me? Then let's do a deep dive. DSpace, your partner in simulation and validation.